All right, this is the second video for our converting with our customary system, the US system. Um, but we're gonna be taking things that are kind of in an improper form and we wanna adjust them and kind of clean them up a little bit. So if we have eight pounds, 20 ounces, we wanna, we have more than eight pounds worth of ounces. So it's this 20 ounces. Okay, so if we go back to the idea of, um, we have, sorry, um, so we have pounds and ounces. So we are looking at this kind of a, a value that every 16 ounces is a pound. So if you have 20 ounces and every 16 ounces is a pound, um, you have, we take 16, we're basically looking to see how many 16, how many 16s can we take out of 20, which is one. And then out of that, we're gonna have one pound and then four ounces, okay? So if we had eight pounds, 20 ounces, but we're taking a pound's worth of ounces out, that's gonna make that nine pounds, four ounces, okay? So kind of the math to this is, you're taking 20, you're dividing it by 16, it goes into it, one time with four left over. Okay, so that four represents your four ounces. Okay, um, so all of these are gonna have that kind of similar feel to it. So you have one gallon, five quarts. Um, so then you're looking at, let's see, we have gallons and quarts. So we got gallons, quarts, every four quarts is a gallon. So five quarts is gonna be equivalent to one gallon, one quart, because we're taking five and we're dividing it by four. Okay, so that's one gallon, one quart, adding on to the gallon we already have. So we have two gallons and one quart. Okay, and then last one, we have two yards, four feet, 16 inches. So we'll start with the smallest increment first, the 16 inches, All right? And every 12 inches is a foot. So 16, we are dividing it by 12. And we are having it go into it one time with four left over. So then that's gonna be one foot you have one foot worth of inches and then you have leftover of four. Okay, so right now what we sit in is two yards. If you had four feet, we're bumping it up by one. And then uh, the 16 inches is gonna turn into four inches. So inches is done. However, we're talking about yards and every three feet is a yard. So we have one yard worth of feet. So then we'll do this again. So we have five feet. Okay, so we're gonna divide that by three and it goes into a one time, two left over. So we have one foot, sorry. We're converting feet into yards. So we have one yard worth of feet and we have two left over. And so then that thing becomes one more yard, two feet, four inches. So we have a couple different conversions on that one. All right. And then uh, adding and subtracting is going to kind of have a similar feel to that. So if you're going to be adding and subtracting, um, you're going to have, let's see, we're going to and write the answer in standard notation. So that's what we were doing on this last one. So um, we are gonna add six pounds, seven ounces with three pounds, 13 ounces. Okay, so put that over here. So six pounds, seven ounces, we're adding three pounds, 13 ounces. So that gets us nine pounds, 20 
ounces. But again, that 20 ounce is one pound worth. So our nine becomes a 10 pounds. And then we take up 16 ounces out of that. So four ounces left. Okay. Uh, and then if we go to subtraction, we have five feet, three inches. We're subtracting, oops, read the directions. We are subtracting this one from this one. So we have seven feet, four inches, minus five feet, three inches. So um, as we go through this, three inches minus, uh, four inches minus three inches is no problem. So that's one inch. And then two, uh, seven feet minus five feet is two feet. So subtraction is, works out good on that one. But it's not always the case. Not that it can't work out. It's just going to be maybe a little bit more complicated. So this is going to be one of those that we're going to take, um, three pounds, 12 ounces, and we're going to subtract it from seven pounds, eight ounces. So seven pounds, eight ounces, minus three pounds, 12 ounces. All right, so the problem with that is it's taking eight minus 12. You're not supposed to get a negative out of this because you have seven pounds in general and you're subtracting three pounds. So you're going to get a positive number. So in order to resolve that, we need to we need to borrow, we need to fix it by borrowing. So we're gonna borrow one pound in ounces. So then this value, we're gonna borrow one pound. So it's six pounds, <coughs> but our eight ounces is gonna be bumped up with a pound's worth of ounces. So we're gonna add 16 to that, making it 24. And now when we subtract our three pounds, 12 ounces, we are looking okay. So 12 minus uh, 24 minus 12 works out fine. So 12 ounces, 24 minus 12 is 12. And then six minus three is three. So three pounds, 12 ounces. All right. Then we have two more. So multiplying and dividing. So uh, you got a tank that holds 21 gallons, three quarts of weed killer. How much does eight containers hold? So you have eight of them. So we're going to be multiplying eight of those. So <coughs> um, if you're going to multiply, you can treat this separate. Okay, so I'm going to break this up. That basically, I'm going to take this 21 gallons, three quarts, now I'm gonna treat it separate. So I'm gonna take 21 gallons. I'm gonna multiply it by eight. So if I multiply that, <clears throat> that gets me 168 gallons. And then I'm gonna have three quarts, but there's gonna be eight of those. So that's gonna turn out to be 24 quarts. All right, so we got a lot of quarts. And what we have to remember is one gallon is equal to four quarts. So we wanna see how many we have. So we're gonna take that 24 quarts, divide it by four quarts to figure out how many gallons we have. So that turns out to be six. All right, so six. Yeah, so we had 168 gallons, 24 quarts is equal to six gallons. So then together, that we're going to add those two together and that gets us 174 gallons. Okay, so kind of similar to adding, we are going to get potentially when you multiply, most of the time probably when you multiply, you're going to get that smaller value is going to be more than what you need. So you'll have to convert that. All right. And then last one. <clears throat> if tubing is manufactured in lengths of eight feet, four inches, and a part uses tubing that is 10 inches long, how many parts can we can we cut can be cut from the length of the tubing 
if we do not account for waste. Okay, so um, you're going to be cutting 10 inch sections out of eight feet, four inches. I would say, and so that's a divide kind of a problem. To me, I would convert all of this into inches and just figure out how many total inches you have and then just divide it by 10. So I'm going to convert the eight feet into inches. Okay, so eight feet, every foot is 12 inches. So eight times 12 is gonna equal 96 inches. All right, well, we already had four. So then we have a total of 96 plus the four. So we have 100 inches. And we're cutting into 10 inch sections. So here's where our division comes in. We're taking 100, we're dividing it by 10, and it gets us 10, <coughs> um, 10, uh, what was called lengths, 10 lengths. I was going to say 10, 10 inch sections, but too many 10. So 10 lengths is what we can get out of that. 10 cuts, 10 pieces. Okay, and that was adding, subtracting, and multiplying with um, measurements.